with more brilliant colors than even his shirts ever heard of, here is your first host of the season, Bing Crosby! <laughs> I let the trumpets call While the people shout Strike up the band Hear the cymbals ring Calling one and all To the martial swing Strike up the band Hear that beat when the drummer is near It's the right way to start off the year Now's the time when we all give a cheer Lend a hand all in line, yay, bow. Come along, let's go. Hey, leaders, strike up the band. It always makes me happy when I'm wearing a serape and a rumba. I know just what I'm doing when I find them deeper two and in a number. Ah, but with a marching beat, I feel it in my feet. I know those brass are in a special class. Let the trombone slide, let the big bass boom, let the licorice ride, back up the band, then race the blues, let the rhythm soar, and you line in two, back up the band, hit up the plate from midnight till morn, till the day that the rhythm is born, when the South met the man with the horn, on oh, was the flag. Join the marching crowd Sing along out loud Hey, leader Ooh, leader Hey, leader Strike up the band With performance numero uno of 66 and 67 in the colorful Hollywood Palace. Tonight, this temple of variety entertainment embarks on its fourth season. You know, playing the palace is, uh, well, it's become the life's ambition of practically every actor. Now, go and try and convince Ronald Reagan, huh? <clears throat> it's been a notable summer, though. It's been very unusual, very jolly, filled with romance. Dan Cubitt has been really working overtime. He dollied in on Bridget Bardot. He snagged Sinatra. And the Johnson and Nugent wedding in the White House was the social event of the season. I hear Linda Bird gave her new brother-in-law a lovely watch. I think it's a Hamilton. <laughs> they say it's a beauty by George. <laughs> ah, and the Russians. The Russians, they, they did us in. They called off that track meet. But they did give first prize and a standing ovation to a young American soprano, Jane Marsh. And she's on our Hollywood Palace show tonight. You know, that's the same high honor that they gave uh, the pianist, uh, Van Clyburn, a few years ago, you may recall. Oh, these Russians, you can't figure them out, can you? They're unpredictable. They love our pianists and our singers, but they get a little nervous about our athletes. <laughs> Hollywood's big event of the summer, I guess, was the opening of that motion picture, uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Now, I didn't see the film, but everyone comes out swearing that it's great. <laughs> it's great. Two of today's giants of comedy... George Burns and Sid Caesar, they're here to help tonight. We're going to launch the season here with us. So are the Red Hot Mamas and the Papas. And now to start off the season, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to segue outside to the parking lot right next to the palace here. And there's a long shot of what's going on out there. That's the rodents. A daredevil couple from Sweden about to start one of the show world's most spectacular acts. They're 60 feet up in the air there with no net below. <laughs> Mother, she's drawing interest while father takes care of the balance. <laughs> now, 
You know, when the great uh, and dynamic star Sammy Davis Jr. opened in that Broadway show, Golden Boy, a young lady named Lola Falana, well, she was just another member of the cast. But by the time the curtain went down for the final time, she was a bright new star. She's here to sparkle for us tonight. And here she is, Miss Lola Falana. <laughs> And now here's the only man that Jack Benny ever takes out to dinner. That's because he makes him laugh. George Burns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me while I put this holder on my cigar. At my age, that's exciting. 
16 beautiful chorus girls on the bill, and I'm dressing next door to Crosby. <laughs> but the funny thing is, Crosby thought he was dressing next door to the chorus girls, and I thought I was dressing next door to them. And there's a little hole in the wall between our two dressing rooms. <laughs> Naturally, I took a little peek through the hole, and there was Crosby peeking back at me. <laughs> I think he's got bad eyes. He whistled at me twice. <laughs> See, the bad eyes are very bad judgment. <laughs> got to light the cigar. I can't, I can't talk unless I smoke. Seeing me without a cigar is like seeing Mrs. Miller on the middle page of Playboy. <laughs> And at my age, that's exciting. <laughs> at my age, seeing Arthur Miller is exciting. <laughs> now I'm going to sing you a song that they're all whistling in, in Glendale. Let's have it. Mitch and my king. My kid brother, he's a lazy kid. One day's work is all the work he did. Wrote a song entirely wrong. Up in Yonkers, it is going strong. I love to sing and I love to smoke. <laughs> My friends who heard me sing say they'd rather hear me smoke. <laughs> George M. Cohen and the other gang heard my brother when the song he sang. He said that it cannot miss. It's bound to be a hit. How can it miss? I always open with a song. Well, Dean Martin opens with a song, and Crosby opens with a song, and Sammy Davis opens with a song. All us great singers open the same way. <laughs> and we all have our own style. Dean takes a few drinks while he's singing, and Crosby always finishes on a low note. And Sammy Davis wears tight pants and wiggles his hips when he sings. One night, I thought I'd try all their three styles at once. I took a few drinks, and I went for the low note, and I wiggled my hips. What do you think happened? I hiccuped, missed the low note, and lost my pants. <laughs> and at my age, that's not exciting. How can it miss? How can it miss? When the chorus goes like this. Pack up your sins and go to the devil in Hades. You'll find the finest of gentlemen, <coughs> finest of ladies. They'd rather be down below than up above. Hades is full of thousands of Jones, Browns, Bulligans, Cones, and Brady's. They got a wonderful platoon that went to the devil because those jazz bands put a trick in it, a little kick in it, a raggy pick in it. They got a couple of old performers in heaven Making you go to bed at 11 Pack up your sins and go to the devil And you never have to go to bed You never have to go to bed You never have to go to bed at all Wow, that's it That, um, that song was arranged for me by Phyllis Dillis Hairdresser <laughs> Now I gotta let you in on something I, I, I played a nightclub a few weeks ago at Sparks in Reno, and I said to Bing, I said, Bing, how do you keep your throat in such good condition? He says, before you go on the stage, he says, you have a little hot chicken noodle soup. And then I asked uh, Andy Williams, and he said, before you go on the stage, you have a little hot chicken noodle soup. And, and Frank Sinatra said the same thing. Of course, Sinatra doesn't have to fix his own soup anymore. <laughs> He's got himself a little chicken that seasons his noodles. <laughs> anyway, I did what they told me. I got myself some hot chicken noodle soup. I went on the stage. I'm in the middle of my big number, Tiger Girl, and the noodles got stuck in my throat. <laughs> I think these three kids are trying to keep me out of show business. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Now, hold it. Hold it here, sugar throat. <laughs> I want to tell you, bring up a point with you. I notice there's a little hole in the wall between our two dressing rooms. A use it. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Bing, I'll tell you what. Let's sing a little song together, and I promise to plug up the hole. Oh, no, no, no. Don't plug up the hole. No, I'm copying the design on those pink striped shorts of yours. <laughs> At my age, that's very exciting. <laughs> Mitch and my king. How can it miss? How can it hey, miss? Wait, you, you did one like that. How can it miss? How, you did it before. Well, look, this verse fits any chorus. Oh, it's Pick a out any song. verse. And Bing, here's a tempo. Play with it. That's here. When the chorus goes like this... Oh, you're nobody. You're nobody. Till somebody. Till somebody. Loves you. Loves someone who loves you every minute. You're nobody. You're nobody. 
Till somebody can Yes, look around and find some loving gal <laughs> You may be king yeah. You may possess, you may possess the world It's not And it's gold. the money that's important But gold won't bring you No, it won't So Where far you wanna go, do what you wanna, wanna do, go. I don't care. Oh, the world, oh, the world, still gonna be the same. It's the same. You never change. You it. can't afford to be all alone on the shelf. Just as sure, as sure as the stars, as the stars shine above. You don't wanna be feeling sad and lonely. You're nobody, yeah. nobody, till somebody, somebody. Really love you, yes, find yourself a loving baby. So find so yourself and somebody and find to love, to love, love, to love, 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 love. <laughs> What do you say we do a little dance for the finish? Oh, no, 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 no. At my age, I don't need a finish. <laughs> Betty, the party's out there, not in here. I'm nervous. About what? My breath. I use mouthwash. Try green mint. Green mint? It does more than just get rid of bad breath germs. It has chlorophyll that absorbs mouth odor, like a sponge absorbs water. Ends mouth odors for hours. Sounds good. I'll try it. Green mint absorbs odor, like a sponge absorbs water. The heartbreak of psoriasis. What does psoriasis look like? It may first appear as a crusty patch on skin or scalp. Can it get worse? Yes, and it can leave skin rough and scaly. Can anything relieve the itching and scaling? Yes. New Tegrin. It's guaranteed. Or your money back. Guaranteed to speed relief from itching. Work fast to remove scales. And continued use helps keep scales from coming back. Try Tegrin. It's guaranteed. Southern Tunisia. 1942. This territory belongs to Rommel's Africa Corps. Everyone knows this. Everyone, except Sergeant Sam Troy, Sergeant Jack Moffat, Private Mark Hitchcock, and Private Tully Pettigrew. The Rat Patrol. But four men too many for the Germans. The Rat Patrol, in color, on ABC. You know, the people in Moscow were genuinely enchanted with the poise, the beauty, the technique, and the voice of Miss Jane Marsh of San Francisco. That's when she won the recent uh, Tchaikovsky competition over there in the Russia capital. It was the same event that brought fame to Van Cliburn. And we're extremely proud that the young American soprano is making her first TV appearance since coming home right here in the Hollywood Palace tonight. She's going to sing the very beautiful aria, Mi Chiamano Mimi, from La Boheme. Miss Jane Marsh. <laughs>
taking color pictures with a new Polaroid color pack camera, there's something left out of your life. Spoiling me. Well, I used to dance a little in vaudeville. Vaudeville? Where's that? Just this side of Altoona. I'll tell you where I'm spoiled. That's my cigar. El Producto. Once you try an El Producto, you won't settle for anything less. That's because they're mild. Naturally mild. You spoil yourself a little. Waltz down to your dealers and ask them for Georgia cigar. El Producto. For a new high in natural mildness, try El Producto's tall, stylish altar. Buy five in the handy folder pack. The way the uh, mamas and the papas have been selling records and reaping royalties lately, it looks like they'll soon be adding another relative to the group, Uncle Sam. Mm. But they're here tonight to regale you with some songs from their latest album. The title of the album, now move back a little and hold on to yourself, it's called Crash On, Scream On, Sing On, and All Fall Down. <laughs> here they are, the Mamas and the Puffs.
If you're one of the millions of people who sometimes rely on a laxative, take the best laxative, Philips Milk of Magnesia. When thousands of doctors across the country were asked, do you ever recommend Milk of Magnesia? The overwhelming majority said they did. You see, Philips Milk of Magnesia is a laxative plus an antacid. No single purpose laxative can give such complete yet gentle relief. Take Philips Milk of Magnesia, the kind of laxative doctors recommend. When a young mind goes to work on a big problem, it works wonders for a school teacher. Stop that! In fact, a teacher's day is full of wonders. Jerry, will you please get but away But when it leads to a headache, that's when Bayer works wonders. Two Bayer tablets bring all the pain relief power your headache can use. Bayer works wonders. And now let's hail the greatest Caesar since Julius, Sid Caesar. you understand one thing, you're fooling yourself. You've got to be fooling. You, you, you can't believe that. I mean, you've got to have some brain, something. Why Don't is you... it so impossible? Will you tell me why is it well, so I'm impossible? Wait a second. Let me explain what you've got to do. You can't explain a man so big to come here. We don't know him. And I'll tell you why it's impossible. You know why it's impossible? What? Listen to what yourself is saying. Listen to what yourself is saying and then hear yourself after you say it. <laughs> now, what's supposed to happen tonight? Why? Bing Crosby is going to come to our house tonight. Cuckoo. <laughs> what's the matter with you? Don't you understand anything? Don't you know? I mean, he's a big man, a big star. Hey, we have been arguing about this. I've been arguing. Let's go on. Well, do I have to show you the letter from my cousin Can Ned? Can we go? I'm, no, I'm no, no. Look right here. It says to my cousin mm. Ned, he's been working with Bing Crosby on this show, and he promised him that if he ever came anywhere near the neighborhood, he would drop in and say hello. Yeah. Well, tonight he is only 65 miles away. He's only 65 miles away. Is it so inconceivable to believe that he just might drop in and he just might say hello for the sake of my cousin Ned? Cuckoo! Come on with you. Come on, let's go to the movies. Fred is waiting outside in the car. All right, all right. The man right. is oh, not going to come. He's a very big okay, star. What okay, you got to okay, do with he's us? He's not coming. Oh. Will you turn the porch light on, please? Why? I don't want Bing Crosby to trip on the step. Will you? <laughs> Bing Crosby's going to come. Come on with you. Hurry up. Oh, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. How do you do? <laughs> Crosby. Uh, your, your cousin Ned, you have a cousin Ned out in California, and uh, he works on our show on the camera crew. And we're very good friends, and, and he told me if I was ever in the neighborhood, I should drop in and say hello. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is 48 Sparrow Beak Lane, isn't it? Oh, it's anything you want. Oh, come in. <laughs> I mean, would you like to sit down? Well, thank you, yeah. Sit right here. Thank you, you're very nice. I mean, it's just a couch. <laughs> but if you care to sit in it, I'm, I'm sure the couch would be delighted. <laughs> oh, oh, hold it. Oh, 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 don't move. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I tell you, I love it. <laughs> oh, 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 I love can I make you a cup of coffee? Please, Miss Jordan. How about some cake? I make Ms. wonderful Jordan, cake. Ms. Oh, you love a please. haircut. Just a, a haircut. Just a minute, Miss Jordan. Haircut. Please, now compose yourself. Relax. Take it easy. Now, just try and think of me as a friend of your cousin Ned's out in California. <laughs> just plain Bing. <laughs> plain Bing? Oh, oh, you could never be plain to me. Oh, oh, I know. You're chilly, aren't you? No. I'd be happy to knit you a sweater. No, I'm very comfortable. I feel fine. No, don't. Well, then don't worry. excuse me a minute. I just like to going? freshen up. Don't go away. Come on, sweetheart. What are you? We're waiting outside. Come on. You want to go to the movies? Yes or no? What's your call? Now she's got to go put on makeup. I mean, that's women for you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She was just ready to walk out of the door. All she had to do was put on a coat, and that was it. You know, now she has to go put on makeup. And what for? We're going on a dark movie, and she's going to put on... Anything wrong? If you...
You're in here? What? <laughs> 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 I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> can I help you? No, no, no. Can I help you anything? No, you can't help me. But I'm just going to cry. <laughs> well, well, please sit down, Mr. Crosby. Please. Oh, God, you, you don't know what a, a great feeling. I mean, this is wonderful. I mean, a great international star like you to come and visit a black like me. <laughs> it's wonderful. You're, you're a greatly, a, a truly a great human being because... To think of to take the trouble to visit a black like me. It's nothing. What do you mean it's nothing? It's something, boy. Big man like you come visit me. May I shake your hand, Mr. Crosby? Of course. Why not? Boy. Oh. What are you gonna do? Oh, no, nothing. Just 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 want to get that. Now, I have it for Papamisterity. For who? Papamisterity. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Crosby, uh, may, may I get you some coffee, please? Oh, no, I wouldn't want to impose. No, 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 no one position. If you don't like the coffee, we'll throw it out. That's all. <laughs> I'll get you some coffee. You're a wonderful man and a great human being, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, you don't have to appreciate anything. It's all coming to you. <laughs> wonderful thing, Crosby. Hey, Charlie, will you hurry up? We're going to miss the movie. It started already. And Betty's waiting out in the car. Hi, Bing. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Did you shake hands with my friend, please? Yeah. Glad to hear. I'll yeah. tell him when he wakes up. All right. okay. Is that really Bing Crosby? You just shook hands with Bing Crosby. Yes, comfortable. Yes, excuse me, Mr. Crosby. I have to help my wife down unless she flops on her face from the train. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I just thought I'd slip into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, it's very beautiful. Oh, thank you. It, it's a combination wedding and Bing Crosby dress. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I think I've imposed on you nice people uh, quite enough. I'll take your regards out to Cousin Ned. It's been a lovely visit, but I, I must catch my plane. Yes. Oh, thank you. I'd love to dance. Dance? I, I don't hear any music. You don't hear any music? No, no, no. Well, then you must be the only one in the room who's not in love. <laughs> well, I, I really have to get going. I, I don't want to miss that plane. And to tell you the truth, I'm about half scared about the plane. Oh, I'm, yeah. So oh. I'll run along. No, no, no. Oh, Mr. Crosby, please. Would you do us one favor? What's this? You're, you're, you're in the house now. Yeah. Nobody's going to ever believe that, that you came to visit us. Would you please let us take just one minute of our, our, own, our own movies? Just yeah, but I've got to make one, a plane on oh, Please, just I mean, one minute. Well, one minute. Oh, one minute. Oh, oh, just, now, get these are movies. No, no, you're going to move now. Move around? Yeah, just what? move. That's, get Action. closer. That's it. That's it. Move. That's it. Move on. Make it. That's good. That's move around. There you are. On the ground block. That's fine. How's that? That's great. Right. Hey, that's Wave good. Wave them off. Wave them off. That's good. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, well, I gotta go. No, 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 no. That's enough. No, 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 please, I really please, get, please, please, I want to get in the picture now. I have to get in there. There we are. Mm -hmm. Pick up like you know me. You know, that's it. That's, that's great. Well, I must go. I'll yeah. see you around. What? Oh, I've got to catch the plane. You've been very nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Just a second. I want to protect you. Okay, Thank you. Yes? Excuse me, sir. I heard a rumor from the taxi driver that Bing Crosby is in town. Bing Crosby is in town? Mm -hmm. He's in my house. <laughs> oh, then it's true. How nice. Excuse yeah. me. Okay, everybody. Oh! Oh, oh, It was very kind of all of you to help us raise the curtain on the brand new season in the Hollywood Palace. 
In weeks to come here in the Hollywood Palace, you're going to meet such scintillating and consummate artists as Ray Bolger, Victor Borga, Kate Smith, Joan Crawford, Phyllis Diller, Steve Lawrence, Adam Batman West, and, oh, a host of others, along with the greatest big top attractions from all over the world. Next week, your host is going to be Phil Silver. Good night. Bayer is pure aspirin, not just part aspirin. Bayer aspirin. Bayer works wonders.